Hi everyone. I am Vardha Sharma, editor Newsband, daily English newspaper of Navi Mumbai. Today we have with us a very dynamic, beautiful, multi-talented Hollywood actress who is well known for her appearances in international American pictures for a uh, beach parties, beach movies, right? <laughs> <laughs> she yeah. before she was spotted by uh, American International Pictures uh, she worked as a singer and a dancer and now she is known she is considered to be Hollywood's iconic acting coach to the stars it gives me immense pleasure to introduce and welcome Bobby Shaw Chance hi welcome hello hello Varda and hello all of our friends uh in India and all around the world, it is a pleasure to be here, to be able to share my experiences and my Hollywood, oh, my my Hollywood calendars with you. <laughs> yes. Uh, can you please tell us about your transition from being a singer and dancer to being spotted by uh, American International Pictures and then having worked in films like Pajama Party, etc. Well, I was very young when I came to California. I was 17 and it was one of those like miracle stories. My, a family member recommended go see this person. I went to see this agent and he said, oh, perfect timing. I've always had unbelievable, perfect timing in my life. I feel so blessed. Uh, and I went to see a director and the agent, and then he sent me to the director. They not only hired me on the spot to star in the movie, um, about halfway through the shooting of the movie, they signed me to a seven-year contract. And that was the end of the contract system. And I got an opportunity as a young girl to work with some wonderful, wonderful people. And made a lot of beach party movies, they were called. They were made for teenagers, the first films ever for teenagers. And uh, it was an incredible experience. Uh, now you, along with your husband, I believe, and also now your son, have started um, uh, something, uh, Acting Coach Academy. For uh, yeah. Hollywood's uh, uh, actors, so can yes, what but, inspired you for this move? But but may I back up a little bit and share yes. something amazing? How in life there's like a cycling and a recycling, um, and the beach party movies. I I played a sidekick to one of Hollywood's most esteemed comics. His name is Buster Keaton. And he was like Charlie Chaplin and, and just a genius. Well, I played his sidekick in six of those movies. I got a call about a month ago, maybe two months ago, from a man named Jim Curtis, who wrote a book called Buster Keaton. And it's an 800-page book. Warner Brothers just bought it. And uh, the man who is starring it is Rami Malek who just starred in uh, Bohemian Rhapsody. So Rami Malek is now playing Buster Keaton in this major network series. And of course, I can't play myself at, at 18 anymore, but I can play his wife, right, who helped him get sober and really initiated a new phase of his career. And it's just so amazing how cycles, how how. Things like, you know, it's amazing. Here I was 18 or 17 making beach party movies as his dumb blonde sidekick. And now I'm going to be doing a series with Rami Malek, who is playing him, Buster, as the old time comic. It's just amazing how things in Hollywood get recycled. Yeah, so <laughs> it's I, a I circle. I had to. Oh, anyway, so, so you want to fast forward into our acting studio. Yes. I was pregnant. I was pregnant with my uh, beautiful daughter, Allison, and I was so bored. I was going crazy because I worked in movies, you know, since I was a teenager. My husband said, "Why don't you start coaching actors?" And I said, "That's a great idea." So I started coaching um, at her school that she went to. Montessori. Okay. You have Montessori. 
Montessori yeah. school. Montessori, yeah. So I started working with children of famous movie stars. And then I went to their parents and everything just became this amazing, our studio became this amazing, iconic studio that um, became number one in Hollywood. And purely by the fact that I was bored, you know, when I was pregnant and didn't have anything to do. And uh, it built up to such a point where every Thursday night we had industry showcase every Thursday night for 35 years. Mm -hmm. That's a long time. That's a long and time. We had every Hollywood producer, directors, famous agents, famous casting directors, um, fa uh, celebrities would come in. It was like the place to go because we really not just wanted to coach our actors how to become really the best actors possible. We wanted to give them the opportunity to get work. Right. So as you said, your aim is to guide uh, young upcoming actors and dancers to become professionals, uh, you know, successful professionals. So exactly. what is your teaching philosophy? And also we hear that your goal is to bring the Hollywood style of acting to India and also yes. the exchange program between Hollywood and Bollywood. Can you please tell us more about this? Yes. Okay. So what we do is undo like people always say to me and i've done hundreds of interviews what is your technique huh. i undo technique because for me it's all about the actor's emotions if the actor has real emotions you can say any words in any script and they'll buy it they'll believe you but it has to come from a place of your heart and your soul not just your head and acting is not thinking, acting is purely feeling. And so um, this has worked in Hollywood. I have coached Scarlett Johansson and Ryan Reynolds. Uh, uh, Brad Pitt has been to my studio. Uh, oh, God, and Sir Anthony Hopkins. I mean, on and on. The list is amazing. And they all came to me to learn this process. So what I would like to do is set up a situation. We have an online session now. And my son coaches, we're partners. His name is Richie Chance. And he's based out of Barcelona. But he coaches from China and Korea and Paris and London and Belgium. Because acting in each of these countries is very different. Yes. And in Bollywood is very different. Yes. And what we... What we see, what I envision, and I've had this vision a long time, is to make Bollywood goes Hollywood. Yes. That's <laughs> Bollywood goes Hollywood. That's, yes. what, that's what my vision is, to help young actors go to a new level of work and not just teach them a Hollywood acting style, but to give them the power to really empower them so that they can transcend um, any style or form or technique and also set up a thing where we have, we, we continue to showcase so that young actors in Bollywood can have their work showcased in Hollywood. Yes. Which I, I don't do think anybody's ever Ever you were that. just, uh, while we were talking, you were saying that uh, there is so much common between Hollywood and Bollywood and India and the U.S. That yes. Can you please tell us yes. more about it? Yes, there, there is so much of a, of a bond because I think, I think Indian actors love, love entertaining. They love the camera, you know, but I think it's, there's an opportunity here for them to get to another level of work. And I'm talking like mm, a level of such empowerment that I don't see in the Indian actors. I don't see it. And I want to bring that, that I, you know, all of us, Varda, have a gift. And for me, I am tapped on the shoulder. And this is my, this is my, my drive. This is my inspiration to do, to bring 
young Indian actors a new level of expression, a new level of, of uh, dynamic acting, you know, yeah, that they have ever experienced. And uh, how, can you please tell us more about your online co coaching classes so that, you know, those who would like to enroll in it, how to go about it? Thank you. Well, it's it's uh, they can reach me two ways. They can go to Bobby Chance, B-O-B-B-I-E, Chance, like the word, uh, dot E-N-T at gmail.com. Or they can go directly to richiechance.com. And that's R-I-C-H-I-E, chance.com. And you'll see the program. As a matter of fact, um, we're doing some live classes in Hollywood um, in uh, four weeks. We're doing a live workshop, uh, which is very exciting because so many actors that we haven't seen in a long time because of COVID, we had to shut down our studio. Yes. So are coming. So I'm really excited. And then the showcase a showcase for Bollywood actors to be seen by American directors, producers, casting people. Because I think the world now, all the movies that I see, they're international. Yes. There's no just American actors, Indian mm -hmm. actors, British actors. It's all international. And I want to, I want to be part of bridging that gap. Yes. And now many Bollywood actors and actresses are joining hands with Hollywood and participating, I mean, acting in Hollywood movies. So you are correct yes. when you said that there is a the gap between the two is uh, really bridging and uh, it's really lovely that you will be a part of it. And uh, so yeah. what, what message would you like to give to the upcoming uh, actors, dancers, singers? Uh, first of all, to me, on a broader term, acting, dancing, singing, uh, the arts connect us on the deepest soulful level. I mean, I, for me, the arts, that's all there really is. You know, I live in, I live there. That's where I live. And I think that to bring this world closer together, it will be through the arts. And I am proudly a recipient of many humanitarian awards because of my drive. I mean, I like I said, I'm touched on the shoulder. I'm driven to connect to connect Bollywood and Hollywood through the arts. And it can be done by doing the work. You have to do the work. And uh, this will connect us closer together because we love the same things dancers, musicians, singers. Uh, we love the same things. My friend uh, Sandip, uh, who is a great dancer, in, uh, and he, we've had this discussion. Um, it's no different. Dancing, singing, acting, music. It connects the human spirit. And it will be how we get out of the mess that we're in in this world today, through the arts. I know that. And I have to be so active and put all my time into that. That's what I have to do. That's my calling. So when can we expect Bobby Chance to India? Well, we're up and running now. We're, we're up and running with uh, Richie Chance, R-I-C-H-I-E, chance.com. Our, our uh, online sessions are up and running. And I open my heart, my my work, all of my work that I've done for so many years to the Indian actors who ever want to be part of this with us, um, just to look us up and we will get back to you right away. And we will also make it affordable because it can be very, very expensive. And I want it to be affordable for young Indian talent who have no way of expressing themselves except through the arts and that's really important to me as well. Thank you so much for joining us. And we well, really hope to see Hollywood and Bollywood joining hands and the gap to be bridged as soon as possible. 
Yes, it's it's happening now already. You know, it's yes. in motion. And I yes. want to thank you so much for the opportunity to be able to speak about it and make this happen. You know, this is really one day I see, oh, by the way, my friend, well, he's not a good friend, but a casual friend, um, Eric Garcia. And before he left for India to become the ambassador, the American ambassador, we were talking about bringing the arts back to school for the children because they, America, the California government couldn't afford it. And they took away after school artistic programs. And so we were in talks about it. And then he went off to India to be ambassador. So you have a wonderful, we have a wonderful ambassador there. And yeah. I hope one day, I hope one day to come to India, maybe to set up live workshops and bring the arts uh, to another level of work in India. This is my dream, and I love sharing it with you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank, Thank you. you.